close your eyes for a moment. Imagine there's a way for you to both provide your visitors with the content they want and have them become engaged leads that are more likely to convert. And you can automate the whole process. Okay, open your eyes. We're going to explore how very real this is and exactly how to do it. You didn't close your eyes, did you? Mm -mm. Not even a little bit. No, 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 not for me. Uh -uh. Hi, I'm Tim from Active Campaign. And I'm Molly from Active Campaign. We have a question from our community that, that we're, we're going, going to, to answer. answer. Today we have a question that asks, how do you set up a name and email capture that then triggers a download of a PDF white paper or guide? What a great question. The answer to this question centers around two words, gated content. With gated content, your leads get the content they want, you get engaged leads that are more likely to convert, and to top it all off, this can all be fully automated. Gated content is content that can't be accessed until the visitor submits their contact information. This technique works with any type of content, but the best gated content is information that can't be found anywhere else. Things like case studies, white papers, webinars, or eBooks. The goal is to provide what your visitors want and find useful. This is why gated content is such an effective lead generation technique for many types of businesses. Leads are more likely to convert when you offer them relevant content in exchange for their contact information, rather than just asking for their contact information. Let's explore how we can automate this process. Landing pages are a great place to deliver gated content to your visitors. It all starts when a visitor fills out a form on your landing page. The most basic information to capture here is your visitor's name and email address. That way you know who they are and how to contact them. After they fill out your form, send them an email with a link to the content that you've promised them. If you have a sales team, you can then assign a deal to one of your sales representatives. You can also assign the rep a task to call the lead and then send them an email notifying them of their new lead. The entire premise of gated content centers around the visitor filling out your form. If they don't fill out the form, they don't get the content they need and you don't get a new lead. So how do we increase the chances of a visitor filling out the form? By reducing friction. Let's talk about four effective ways to reduce friction in forms. First, create a single column form. Studies show that we fill out single column forms 15.4 seconds faster than multi-column forms. The faster someone fills out your form, the more likely they are to submit it. Second, use negative space around your form. This makes your form easier to read, which in turn helps your visitor fill it out more quickly. Third, ditch the dropdowns. Questions on a form that use dropdown options slow people down. People are more likely to leave without submitting your form if things are taking too long. Instead of dropdowns, use radio buttons to keep your visitors moving along. Radio buttons allow your visitor to choose one option, just like a dropdown, but they can see all the options at once, so they don't have to spend extra time clicking through a dropdown. Lastly, use less fields. Visitors are able to move more quickly through the form and feel less overwhelmed if there's fewer fields to fill out. A good rule of thumb is to ask yourself, will a visitor question why we need this information? If it's not obviously relevant, you're better off not asking for it. All right, there we have it. We had a question from our community that we were going to answer. And, and we, we did. did. Don't forget, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.